In this video, I will share with you five feminine secrets that make a man want you more. Hello, my name is Greta Berishita. I'm dating and relationship coach for women, where we awesome high value women secrets. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I share with you those five feminine secrets, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value, which I will drop down in the video description box below. If you like my merch, chase goals and no drama, you can get it in my YouTube store. Just before I will share with you those five feminine secrets, first I will share with you five masculine qualities that modern women have and in return turn men off. The first masculine quality that a lot of women nowadays use is trying to impress a man, to convince him to like you. I think where we took this strategy is from going towards our goals and dreams, or from trying to reach that higher step in business, career, or any kind of job environment. Ladies, you have to remember that the business strategies that we learn to achieve our goals and dreams are very, very masculine. Therefore, if you're going to apply the same business strategies on a man, it's just not going to work. And in return, you will turn him off because a man is not looking for another man, he's looking for a woman. Number two masculine quality that women nowadays use and turn guys off is by competing with other women for a man. Ladies, it's men who compete with other men for women, not women compete with other women for a man. How do women kind of compete with other women for a man? Well, they try to copy one another, try to pursue a man more. Sometimes ladies approach other women that the guy has dated in the past or is currently dating by trying to intimidate them or show them that I am better or by trying to mark the territory. Ladies, this is a very, very masculine thing to do. You as a woman are doing this. You're coming across low value. You're coming across desperate. You're coming across as a woman that doesn't know her own value and worth. The other thing what you do when you compete with these other women, you put them on a pedestal. Ladies, when you put other women on a pedestal by competing with them, you're actually giving them power. You're telling to a guy that these other women are better than me. I remember I knew this girl that used to go um, bachata dancing. She was European girl that had a Colombian boyfriend. So in bachata, she would see a lot of Colombian girls as well. And what she started to do, she started to copy those Colombian girls because she thought that this is what he likes. Even though he didn't go for the Colombian girls, but he went for her. And then she started to do that. The guy noticed that and he called her out on it straight away. He actually said like, why are you copying these girls? You know, I like you for you. Please don't do that. This is very unattractive. For free where women behave masculine and turn guys off is by trying to compete with a man, trying to show him that I am more successful or I am wiser or telling him what to do. So this one is a bit tricky, I would say, because if you feel like you know better and you're ahead of a guy and he is behind you, you as a woman, you cannot demean yourself or try and submit to someone that's behind you because you will feel like you're undervaluing yourself and it's just, it's just not gonna make you feel good and it's just not gonna make sense, right? So I do understand that when you feel like when the guy is behind you, that you might try and push him or you will try and tell him what to do and how to do those things. However, this is a very masculine thing to do and it does turn guys off because we start to feel demasculated. So in this case, ladies, if you if you are dating a guy that is a couple steps behind you, 
I would really recommend you not to do that. Like this is why I always say if you want a relationship to be happy, you're feeling happy, feminine and cherished, you need to date a guy that is a couple steps ahead of you. Are you both going on the same lane? Because if the guy is behind you, you will be trying to help him, pushing him and coming across masculine. And in return, you're not going to feel good and you will be turning him off. So to the smart ladies that have achieved a lot, have faith and have patience and the right guy eventually will come along. Number four, where women behave masculine without realizing it is of course controlling the guy. Where are you? Who are you with? Bring me this, do this, do that. Why you didn't call me? Why you didn't text me? I told you to do this. Why you didn't do it? What time are you coming home? Who is this girl? Who are you with? Ladies, all of these are controlling questions that you need to delete out of the vocabulary or the guy that you're dating will start to feel suffocated, start to lose attraction for you and in return might break up with you. Number five, where you are behaving masculine without realizing it is when you send him that hot picture of yourself or you like his Facebook picture or you reply to his insta story it's when you're actually showing interest and chasing him and yes you can do these things sometimes he's clearly pursuing you and is marking his territory there is nothing wrong by sending that pretty picture liking something on instagram or facebook here and there however if he doesn't seem to be that into you if he's not pursuing you if he's not texting you and you start to randomly send him all kinds of of links or pretty pictures of yourself or like his Facebook posts then you're definitely behaving masculine showing too much interest and turning him off. It is now that you are aware of those five masculine ways that modern women pursue men and turn guys off. Now I'm going to share with you five feminine secrets that high value women do to make a man to want them more. By the way ladies I just want to say that these five feminine feminine secrets really work with um, high value, mature, manly man. If you're dating a guy that's not that self-aware, that likes to manipulate women by telling them that men and women are the same, well, this type of guy most likely will argue with you on every single point. But my advice to these type of guys, don't even give them an hour of your day and just go like, thank you, next, I don't have time for that. Because let me tell you this long term you're not going to be happy with a guy like this he simply will not fulfill your feminine women needs so number one feminine quality to have is modesty and confidence and these two actually go hand in hand i used to find so funny when people would assume that i'm being insecure because i'm behaving modest as in today's society women that really put themselves out there in a very loud look at me way are considered being confident. These ladies are not confident. Majority of these women are actually very insecure and we are so insecure. We are looking for attention and validation towards their value and worth. Secure, confident women, we don't need to be loud. We don't need to be showing up. We don't need to be in the center of attention because she knows her value and worth and her validation does not come from from other people, it comes from God. Number two feminine secret that makes a man want you is when you trust him. Is trusting a man that you with is really important because it makes a man feel masculine and it makes you come across feminine. When you start to date somebody, give them your full trust you lose a bit of trust when the person starts to let you down. When you start to see very little manipulative attitudes coming out, that is when you slowly start to lose your trust in a guy. But if you didn't see any red flags, if you didn't see any reasons not to trust him, 
give him your full trust it will make him feel good and it will make him want to do more things for you when a man will feel good he will automatically will want to spend more time with you and will want to do more things for you number three the feminine secret that makes a man want you more is when you calm in the chaotic situations and you stay calm and collected instead of losing emotional control when he's trying to provoke you when he's trying to make you jealous when he's trying to cause an argument or a fight it makes you come across feminine and it gives you a lot of power number four a feminine characteristic of a high value woman that men love and adore is when you ask for help when you're vulnerable but being vulnerable in a way that you need help so when you simply ask a man for advice or for help or just simply to lift some heavy items saying that men that will help you will only be men that actually care for you and are into you if you're gonna be asking just any man for help he's not gonna help you unless he has manners when it comes to manners i feel like these manners especially in big cities are really getting lost along the way however if a man really cares for you and you ask him for help it makes a man feel masculine it makes a man feel important it makes him feel needed and feeling needed in a relationship is one of a man's love needs and the fifth feminine secret that makes makes a man want you more is when you watch your language, when you watch your words. You are well behaved with manners. Ladies, when you behave ladylike, you will always stand out and he will always proudly and gladly have you by his side. Of course, just a little reminder, I'm talking here about mature, high value men, not about immature boys that are looking for drama, fun, loud girls, a one night stand, etc. Obviously, these tips will not get you anywhere if you're looking for a guy like that, but if you're looking for a guy like that, well then, my channel isn't really for you. Anyway, ladies, so these were my five feminine secrets that men find really attractive in women. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Help each other out. Sharing is caring, as we say, right? Join Greta's High Value Woman School, where we are all in the same boat, learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Uh, follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And if you would like to know how to stay attractive via text, games men play on women, how to control your emotions, how to get your ex back, how to love yourself, or if you have a little hobby that you would like to make into an online business, I have all of these packages for sale on my website gretabrishita.com. I will drop a link on where to get them in my video description box below and as a pinned comment under this video. Of course, if you want want some one-on-one -on -one with me or a member of my team, you can always book me through my website called gratabirishita.com. So thank you for watching my queens. Kisses from Dorset. Mwah.